All right, Ebb's Fleet and South Shields. We're coming right out of the New Year crunch as well. Hello everyone, Cam Bear Ron here. Welcome to a day late FM24 Western Supermare. It's a friend's birthday last night. I went out and spent some time with him and a couple of other friends. We had a good time. Anyway, so today we are playing Ebb's Fleet and Western Supermare. The festive schedule has actually gone really well. So the last time you saw us, we were beating Woking 2-1. We then had an absolutely crazy game against Arkham to Stanley. We kind of, we went... We exchanged goals very, very quickly to make it 2-2. And then we kind of took control of the game. Went, I think it was, yeah, 4-2 up. They got brought about 4-3, and then we scored a late one. You signing Jim Kellerman got his uh, first goal as well, which was pretty good. So we then went and beat Slough in the FA Trophy third round. We were 3-0 up at one point, and then we almost threw it away. Fernando Tavares getting a brace, and he is turning into a very, very good player. We then went and drew 2-2 with Dorking at the beginning of what was to be an a, like a very, very tiresome Christmas run. Uh, Jake Bickstoff scored off for about literally 45 seconds. And Zane Walker penalty managed to, managed to bring us 2-0 up. Then they got a really bullshit penalty call, which I still don't know what it was called for against Kieran Thomas. And then Joe Cook, I think it was, yeah, it was Kieran Thomas. Then Joe Cook managed to score a late equaliser and almost won it as well. Then we beat Rochdale 3-1 again, Bickerstaff and Fernando Tavares. Then we beat Easley 3-1 with goals from Sewell, Kellerman, and Kieran Thomas. Um, <clears throat> we've actually done really, really well in terms of the competitions. We are looking like we're going to finish solidly in the playoff place. We might even be able to get automatic. We go straight up to League 2. Uh, it'll be very, very interesting, especially because we'll get an actual budget and we will be forced to go professional. So we're going to play Ebb's Fleet and South Shields. We're going to go jump straight into the game. We've got a lot of players who are on quite... They're quite tired. So we're going to have to do something about that. We are going to do our usual stuff. Because Sewell and Walker both need a rest, so they won't be taking any part in the game. Right, yeah, they need a rest as well. So, we will be playing Adams, Law, Dyer, Sonar, Thomas, Edwards, Kellerman, Lindley, Tavares, Banzo, McNulty, and Bickerstaff. This is going to be fucking crazy. Tavares is also quite tired, but I'm, and I am going to have to put on Zane Walker at, like, 60 minutes, and he's just going to have to endure. There's literally nothing I can do about it. I've learned that basically Jordan Dyer doesn't mark very well. So. Dank really got a week before the South Shields game, so we're not going to be completely tied out. I've got Kettering in the next round of the Defe Trophies. You saw it's another much lower team, so we should be all right. I'm a little bit worried how this game is going to go because we are very, very tired. All right, let's get started. Oh, this if this is going to be that fucking centre back again? No, wasn't. Let's see if he's playing. Who's the fucking? Let's see his fucking name. See if he's still there. Last time we played Ebb's Fleet, um, they literally won two one because their massive centre back, this guy Xavier Benjamin, who's like fucking six six with like sixteen jumping reach. 16 heading, 20 jumping. Basically scored two rush in near post corner goals. And, ooh, oh, good goal from Bickerstaff <coughs> to put us in the lead. Yeah, we just need to never concede a corner against Ebb's fleet. It's literally that simple. It's good from Edwards. Oh, and that's a second. Oh, that might be... No, that counts. Yeah, that's two very quick fire goals from Bickerstaff. Part of that was Tavares. Again, he's just... He is... Like, Tavares has genuinely been really, really good. I'm going to look at... He's only about... Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're, we're fine. I'm just going to ignore that because I don't have a defensive midfielder at the moment. Um, piss off with the fucking thing. Because I need to play Thomas at right back.
Ah, you see, the start, no one was alert because Tavares basically ran and then no one else could run without being offside. So, ah, oh, damn it. Good steal by Edwards. Go on. For the hat trick. Oh, fuck you. Oh, God, really, man? See, it's that lack of composure again. Like, he's done really well. Like, he scored 11 goals so far. Probably the same as Tavares now. I've got to sit up. Damn it, pull the bloody table over. And, yeah, he's just... But still, one-on-one, -on -one, sometimes it's still just not great. Again! The same post. Oh, my God. No hat-tricks today, apparently. Good catch by Adams. Look at all the low stamina, because we've got no one. Morton's already gone to... Um, thing. Like, uh, Northampton. So I ain't got anybody in the midfield. Liggett's loan is also ended. I'm probably going to have to try and get in another midfielder at some point. Oh shit, Ryan Law with his first goal of the season. Makes it three. Um... I mean, I've, I've got to assume that right. I think the only other change I can really make is someone I have to put on um, walk, to, uh, walk for Tavares. Everyone else is literally just going to have to suffer. We might get a... Well, like, I'm really worried we'll get some injuries after this. Because we might actually have an issue. That was a waste. Some nice little passes there. Oh, and then they did, it just gets lost in the fucking haze of players. I should ask the right word for it, but whatever. See, we're, do, we're doing well, but we are quite tired. And apparently they're also just doing crap. I, I mean, I don't know what they're, what they're fit. What's the absolute formation fitness like? Yeah, I mean, it's basically the same. Lots of tired legs because he's been playing constantly since about the twenty sixth and Boxing Day. It's it's just this is from a real, real um, actual perspective, like in real world perspective. The 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 Christmas schedule in the UK is a lot of fun and all, but it must be absolute hell for the players because you're playing like every two to three days consistently. It must be really really unpleasant. And it requires, like, a lot of squad depth. Just going to respond with my own um, substitution. I don't know if that's going to change anything, but at least get fresh legs on the field. And OP Edwards has a fourth. Wow, we're yeah, we're doing very well here for basically being absolutely dead. But I suppose so were um, Ebb's fleet. 
Yeah, they're, they're exactly the same. The only oil they put on with any fitness is um, this guy, Bingham. But look, look at their fucking... Uh, their levels are basically as bad as ours. These are basically two very knackered teams going at each other. Aside from the goalkeepers, of course. Oh, what the fuck was that? What was that kick? Oh, what was that miss? That was that miss from Kempster as well. I suppose that's what I get for playing him a fucking anchor when he's got no idea how to play there. Get the fucking ball out. Ugh. Well, at least we're still winning. That goes the clean sheet. Yeah, the goalkeeper's on a 5.9. He's having a mare. I, I like the fact that... So Adams was on a 7.0. Because of his really crap kick, he's down to 6.5, and he's, he's got the complacent. All right. Yeah, we should probably keep an eye on the uh, sub. Look at how low the fitness is. Oh, God. Oh, nice. And that is the hat trick at last. 5 1. <coughs> Big star finally getting some goals. Well, no, he's at, he's at, like I say, he's been actually massively improving. I think that's his ninth goal. Fuck me. That was really poor. But it doesn't really matter. Let's end the game. We're all in a match. Like, everybody must be knackered by now. There we go. Good 5-2 victory, even if it's fucking absolutely... Me the, the, literally, they must be dead. Go home and sleep, lads. They got a day off anyway. They don't train on Sundays. There we go. And we are now two points ahead. How did Harrogate do? Oh, very curious. They did. Oh, no, they did play. They drew 2-2. Two -two. So, yeah, we are literally two points ahead. We're two points behind Harrogate. I think there is a genuinely now a chance that we might... Yeah, we're going to send this All right, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see if we can give some rest to uh, some of the players. So uh, you will join me again for South Shields. All right, time to face South Shields. So we got Adams and Goal, Lord, Dyer, Grogan, Norville, Williams, Thomas, Lindley, Walker, Sewell, Edwards, and Bickerstaff. So we've got to give Sono a rest because he's too tired, and I think a lot of people come off rest now. So we've passed the uh, festive break. We're into the like deep into jet life. We're into the middle, of, coming up to the middle of January. Let's go. South Shield, by the way, are near the relegation zone. They've not had a good season, so I'm expecting we'll lose. <laughs> uh, I will be. I, I haven't really thought about back to back. Like, well, it wouldn't be back to back to back because like this season in real life is when West Sumer in their first season in the National League South. But it would effectively, for me, be back-to-back -back promotions. For the club, it would be back-to-back-to-back. -to -back -to -back. That makes sense. So it would be three straight promotions for Western Sumer if they went straight to League Two. I don't think we'll do it, but... Yeah, good catch by Adams there, but really shouldn't be getting through there. All right, 
see if we can take this ball forward. And then the attack breaks down. The highlight is an open walk is through. And he's fucking spaffed it over the bar. Really? Look at the lead table. So yeah, we are behind all of them now. Ooh. Missed. Yep. Part of that was because the defender missed the ball. And then Lord spoons it over. Jesus Christ, guys. Uh. Gonna turn the light on. It's getting a little dark in here. I just get my tea. Oh, look. Yeah, Law was offside. Well, Walker was offside. Walker, but Law was miles offside. You nice Superman mug. Ooh, that's still a little bit hot. <sighs> Try and keep the wire away from the nice hot radiator. Yeah, I've already got the heating on already. It's very, very cold here today. Down in the uh, U of K. Not a lot is happening. That's kind of unfortunate. Well, Walker's kind of blowing it, so we'll take him off, but Tavares on. Unfortunately, we lost Boyce to an injury, so he's out for like another three weeks. He got a, got a hamstring injury, I think it was. He, he was out four or five weeks. Oh, fuck, man, that was useless. Whack. Someone get a tackle in. Well, I missed anyway, but still, that shouldn't be happening. Yeah, you see, Tavares picks the ball up, but he's moving, you know, too loose. That's the man in to get away. What? A, okay, that was a very good slide tackle. That could have gone very wrong. Good parry. I'm a little bit concerned now. Right. Kellerman on, and then that's going to have to be it for the subs. Nice idea, but Bickerstaff is far, far too far away. See, that was a point. Why did Edward shoot there? This entire highlight has just been battling in the middle of the park. Nothing is happening on it. Oh! <laughs> what a fuck up! What an absolute fuck up.
I've waited for so long to be able to use that clip again. Holy God. What a mistake. Oops. What a mistake by the defender and fucking absolutely capitalised on it. Yep, that's not a problem. Oh, Laura almost gets a set as a second then. That was almost on to Saul there, but oh well. Good catch. Competent catch. Now we're going to have to kick this long. It's going to be, yeah, it's just going to be a huge giveaway, but there's nothing you can really do because it's going to be covered. Good power. Come on, don't fuck. Come on, we got two minutes. Three minutes plus two minutes out of time. Don't fuck this up. Oh my god. Alright, well, that's fine. That's offside anyway. That goalkeeper was off for that as well. Saw out the corner of my eye. Alright. Get it. Waste time with the corner flag. That, that wasn't necessarily too bad, but unfortunately, the final shot was poor. Good intercept. Now oh, just too heavy a touch. Another good in. What? I actually think we're playing rather well. Jesus. All right. Cool. That took the biggest fuck up you have ever seen. From the South Shields of defense. Who was who was the guy that played that pass? Was it was it, it was either Eastern or I'll, I'll look it up in the post on doing the video. So uh yeah. Yeah, we weren't that great, but we had a massive slice of fortune. And it'll tell us in the post thing, won't it? Yeah, it was Leo Smith, the guy on the 6.1 in the midfield. He basically didn't look for a and he put it straight to Bickerstaff. So, yeah. That went well. Uh. Well, then he won't start the next fucking game, then. Christ. Well, that went swimmingly. Now, there'll be no video Sunday, and then I'll be back on the Monday. So I'm going to get through the Kettering FA, Cup fourth, uh, FA Trophy fourth round. Then we will next be joined for... Uh, uh, the problem is I don't want to do it, because I've already done file once. But coming back for Hartlepool and Aldershot is too much, too slow. So... Why don't I come back? We'll go, we'll, so I will get through the whole of February. And then we'll come back for Tom Bridge and Solar Hole Wars. So we'll come back at the beginning of March and we'll see how well my form has held out. Or what I can do is I can just see when the FA Cup fifth round it fifth round is, and we'll come back for that. Because I believe that'll be after the older shot game. So I can come back for that. We'll 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 find out where it is. So Right. I mean we we're getting close to the end of the season now. I'm starting to look at maybe in the summer applying for the jobs. I've got, there's a few that I've looked at which are pretty, go to the available, available jobs page. The one, that, the one that's tempting for me is, oh no, that's no longer, there it is. The one that is tempting is Inverness Caledonian Thistle, I'm tempted to put an ad, an ad job advert for it. Because one of the things I should probably mention is that this is obviously, I call it Path to Prestige, but it's basically a Road to Glory series. So, if we consider that the National League, the Vanarama National League, 
in the competitions is it's ranked 98th. So there's a job available in, I believe it's the, yeah, the JD Simru North. The JD Simru North is 184th. Hell, the JD Simru Premier is below the National League. Yeah, 105. So, I will only take a job if it is in a league above my current league. Because again, we're moving up, yeah? So, realistically, my best job if I want to take an available job is Inverness Caledonia Thistle. Fortunately, I think I'm no longer wanted by anybody, so... Want, wanted by QPR transfer. QPR doesn't have a job going unless they want me to be an assistant manager or some shit. Yeah. That's odd. I mean, there's also Cambridge, who are 19th. I might put in, you know, I can put in a, put in a job application there. That's 40th. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I will see you guys... Uh, see you guys for the next games against Aldershot and against Tombridge and Solihull, or I'll just see whenever the FA Cup fifth round is. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more, you can always subscribe. I've been Cam Bevron, and thank you for watching.